no hat today. It's kind of a mess. What's up, everybody? Russ with RWGResearch.com and QuantumGravityResearch.org. Thought I'd give you a quick Variac update. So most of you remember my 10,000 watt Variac. This is two 5,000 watt stacked Variacs. Um, what's unique about this is the fact that this is actually a powered unit. So there's this unit up here, which I should take the top off and show you. It's just it's just a, a motor, and uh, there's some limit switches down here, right there, and then you can see the motor over there where it comes out and it connects to that big giant brass gear right there and uh, basically it's got a forward and reverse and then I added just a switch here and a breaker and then I also added um, an, a, an out, a strip, power strip outlet <clears throat> which is nice um, so I can just plug stuff right into it and I can wire it from there which will be much easier than what I've been doing I've been using this by hand, by the way. This is the one I've been using with the popper. It's just been using it with the by hand, but this is actually the full unit, if uh, some of you missed that. Then I put a breaker in here. This is a 25 amp breaker. Now, um, the interesting thing about this Variac is it is a 5,000 watt Variac. Variac. So it says it can put out 41.6 amps. It's quite a lot. Um, so this is just a power indicator. Um, I am using this breaker as a switch so that I can turn it on and off when I want. So I've got two cords on here in case I want to isolate. Um, in case I want to isolate the the control motor to the input circuit here. Um, so basically, this is my power on. Okay. So when the power is on, the power strip functions and then up here you've got that motor switch so down is lower voltage and up is higher voltage you can hear it running I'll get you a, a close up here so when I hit the switch up if I can get it in the shot you can see that it rotates and it goes all the way around until it gets to that limit switch and automatically shuts off by itself it's just a 120 volt synchronous, synchronous motor inside this thing. And uh, so for all intensive purposes, I guess I should plug in and show you the output voltage. Now, one thing I didn't share with you guys and or I didn't know it at the time was the fact that the bottom Variac, which is half of the 10,000 watt, this is only a 5,000 watt at the moment, which is still ridiculous. I can hook up a gen set to this thing, 5,000 watt gen set, and it's still, still good. So, AC volts. All right, and we'll just plug this right into here. This power strip is very tight. There we go. Um, so, voltage going up voltage going down. I need to adjust because it's not quite zero volts but 0.2 is pretty much nothing. So I'll go ahead and run it up so you can see it. All the way to my max input voltage. Um, see how the voltage is low? Yesterday it was 117. That's why my filament extruder goes crazy. Anyway, um, yeah so most of you may or may not realize that, but this is a powered Variac, so you can remotely dim lights is what it was designed for. You can have uh, the dimming control switch somewhere else, and then you can hook this up to your system, and that's what happened. Now what happened is, is the bottom Variac is actually burned out, and there's just about three loops of wire that are burned up, and so I need to repair that, and I just haven't ever had the time to do it, so maybe now I'll get to that. Granted, when I get done, I really want to hook it up um, and connect it in a way that I can get 220 volts out of it and so yeah now for pure reference just to uh, let's bring it up about half I wanted to find out like how how uh, sensitive it is so it's at 44 volts so let's just bump it mm, you know you can move it about a volt there's even less if you just barely bump it you can 
you can get it to change a minute amount. Now, one of the other options is just stick a resistor in the line, the 120 line, and uh, slow it down, which is what I may or may not do. I'll have to use it for a while. Let's see what I think about that. But the uh, the output here is just uh, connected directly to the output of the Variac, and then again I've got two power cords. But yep, that's the Variac update. To get a uh, to get a size comparison, um, I need to lean this against something without knocking my camera on the floor. There's a, there's a size comparison. The sucker's a beast, man. It's about up to here on me. So. All right, Russ with RWG Research, have fun, peace and love, God bless you guys, and uh, all for the glory of the Lord. Peace.